Hello guys and welcome back to another speaker tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create clickable signs. So as always I just have a basic plugin set up as so with an on enable and on disable function. So the first thing we're going to need to do is listen um, for a sign click and a sign place event. So we're going to do this just in a sign events class. Okay, so I am just listening for these events by going into the unenable function in our main class and saying get plugin manager, register events, new sign events. Um, I'm going to let IntelliJ automatically implement the class for us. We need to listen to two events here. One of them is going to be the on inter uh, the player interact event, which is going to detect when a player right clicks a block. And it's also going to detect a sign uh change event. So let's do the first. So if we do add event handler public void on sign change, sign change event E, we want to check. So what we're going to be doing is creating a plugin where when a player creates a sign with the first line heal, uh, yeah, basically like this without the um, quotation marks, it changes the, so if any of you use essentials, it kind of something similar, it changes the name uh, to give it a color, and then whenever you click it, it heals the player. So we need to check if e.getLine0 dot equals ignore case heal, we just want to do e dot set line uh, zero chat color dot whatever you want, I'll do dark blue plus heal. So what this does, very self-explanatory, whenever a sign is changed, we check if the first name is heal, then we just set it to heal with the color. Okay, so next we want to detect a player interact event. So we're going to create a public void on player interact, player interact event E. There's no way to automatically detect when a player um, interacts with a sign, so we need to say if e.getClickBlock um, is equal to null, then we need to return. A lot of people might might be tempted to do if e dot get clicked block dot equals um, a sign, but you can't do that. A sign is a block state, so we need to check the state of the block. So we need to say if e dot get clicked block dot get state instance of sign. This is just a way of checking is a I need to just um, import sign, which is going to be org dot bucket dot block. This is just a way of checking if a block is assigned. That is basically it. Then we do sign sign is equal to sign e dot get clicked block dot get state. Then um, if sign dot get line zero dot equals ignore case. Now we can't just do heal because we also have a chat color on our custom sign. So we also need to use the chat color. Let me remove this. So if sign if the sign we clicked if the first line is this dark blue color we want to heal the player. And then send a message. Oh, not green, green. Um, you have been healed. Okay, and that is it. Oh, sorry, send message. And that is it. So as you can see, it's really easy. All you need to do is check if the block we've clicked on is not null and that its state is a sign. If it is a sign, check if it's one of our custom heal signs. If it is, heal the player. Okay, so I'm going to build this and put it into my server and I'll be back with you when that's done. Okay, so I'm back in my server. If I place a sign and do a uh, heal, as you can see, it gets changed. Um, I'm gonna just go into survival mode. Oh, I'm not off, it doesn't matter, it's fine. And as you can see, when I right click it, I've been healed. However, if we place a sign and misspell or something like that, as you can see, we don't get healed from the sign. So it's only when we have our custom sign placed that it works. Uh, you can obviously implement permissions for this, so you can just check if a player has a permission, and if they do, then make it a heal sign. Okay, so that is literally it. You can do so many things with this. You can uh, create teleportation plugins, you can create um, GUIs, so the, li the um, limits are endless. So hopefully that has made sense. Uh, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.